Hello guys, welcome back to my channel TikTok Shortcut. In this video, I am going to talk about the Redmi Note 12 Pro, whether you should buy it or not. So, first of all, started with the unboxing and then I am going to talk about all the specification. After that, finally, I will deliver my verdict on this phone. So, let's start with the unboxing. As you can see the design of this phone is a squarish look, boxy type. Sides are absolutely flat but what is this? I mean it's feel like you are holding the whole galaxy in your hand and the stars are everywhere. In hand fit is very good, not very heavy type and the sharp edges are not very irritating. Overall the in hand experience is great. But for the small handed person there could be a discussion. By the way the back panel of this is made of plastic so the overall weight is on the lighter side which is 188.4 gram. Now the ports and button. On the top there are everyone's favorite 3.5mm headphone jack, a speaker grill, a noise cancellation mic and a IR blaster. On the bottom there is again a speaker grill, a USB type C port, a microphone and a SIM card tray. By the way it's a 12 nano SIM card tray so unfortunately no SD card slot available. Let's talk about the display. It's a square type display where bezels are less and the chin size is just 2.8mm. By the way, it's a 6.67 inch FHD plus OLED display with 120Hz refresh rate and the touch sampling rate is 240Hz. Brightness can go up to 900 nits which is I think could be better rather than other smartphones. But no major issue to use it with the direct sunlight. It's fully visible on it. The overall display performance touch swipe is very very impressive but there are lots of bloater apps battery is 5000 milliampere and there is a 67 watt fast charging system to charge the battery quickly the base model has started with 6 gb lpdr 4 xm with 128 gb ups 2.2 storage type and it can go up to 12 gb ram with 256 gb storage there is also a side mounted fingerprint scanner and a face analog system to open the device let's quickly talk about the multimedia Multimedia is the best side of this device, I mean with the stereo speaker which is loud and crispy and there is also Dolby Vision support, so the overall multimedia experience is slightly on the greater side. Now quickly discuss about the connectivity, it has 5G, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2, dual 4G quality and most importantly there is IP53 splash boot protection. Finally the camera, it has impressive 50 megapixel primary camera with the Sony IMX766 sensor. 8 megapixel ultra wide lens which can see through up to 119 degree and a 2 megapixel macro lens which is as usual not acceptable. Talking about its front camera, it has a 16 megapixel selfie shooter as well. The primary camera sample is on the screen which is good, I mean the colors are accurate and punchy, sharpness are great as well. All thanks goes to the Sony IMX766 sensor. The video can be recorded up to 4K with 30 fps, but I think 60 fps would be a better option. Now the verdict of mine is, the price of this phone has started with 22,000 and I think at this kind of price point it's a great device to consider. I mean it has a great camera and a great display for multimedia but I would say it's not for the heavy gamer. If gaming is your first priority then you should go with the other option. But if someone who is a multimedia lover with good camera performance then they can consider this as their primary option. Thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe my channel for more updates like this and I will catch you the next one till then, take care.